What is up here? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Fatal Frame Bane of Blackwater Blind. In the last episode, we played as Ren Hojo and found Rui Kagamiya, who was dressed like a bride in this whole ghost marriage ritual setup, which was awfully creepy and unsettling. Um, but, uh, I guess, pleasant experience nonetheless, <laughs> looking through that that room. Ren gets caught in his dreams a lot, and then I guess that brings with a question, are they even really dreams, or are they genuine sort of paranormal phenomena. But anyways, in this episode, we're going to play as Miyu Hinasaki and search for Miku. Miyu's mother, Miku, is on Mount Hikami. Convinced of this, Miyu takes the camera obscura from Yuri's room while she sleeps. Alright. Off we go. I gotta remind myself, Miyu. Slow defensive gameplay, utilize that slowdown. The Shadowborn. Interesting. Isn't that, isn't that the name of like an expansion for Final Fantasy XIV? Or is it something different, but close? Having brought Yuri back from the Lake of the Departed, Miyu stays a, stays a while at the antique shop. Or stays a while. <laughs> I feel like it should be two separate words. I haven't thought about it, but I feel like it should be a while. Or is it like a while? No, you guys probably don't care. But Convinced her mother, Miku Hinasaki, is somewhere on Mount Hikami, Miyu knows the only way to find her is to follow her shadow. To do so, she needs the help of Yuri's camera obscura. So naturally, she snags it in the middle of the night and heads up to Mount Hikami. I saw Mother's Trace disappear in the cemetery. Maybe I'll be able to find something if I examine it using the camera obscura. I wonder if I can borrow it one more time. Borrow, as in without consent, snag from Yuri's possession in the middle of the night. No items of interest, unfortunately. Anything else appealing over here? Doesn't seem so. Rolling into this episode with a little bit of anxiety. I've got a pretty big exam coming up tomorrow, and I'm arguably just uh, distracting myself from that exam by playing this game. <laughs> but it's a little bit on edge in general. Can we open these drawers? No, we can't. It's one of those things where, you know, I've done some preparation. I have some quantifiable objective results to show that I'll probably do well enough that I don't need to worry about the exam. But at the same time, I haven't taken it, and I don't know how I did, so I'm nervous. Hisoka's Journal 3. A small notebook has been left on the desk. It looks like Miss Kurosawa's general. I never did learn why Akari went missing. Have we, have we heard about Akari before? I don't know who that is. I guess she took that secret to the grave. It may seem trivial to other people, but it must have been important to her. Oh wait, oops, that was not the uh, the end of the page. Maybe people really can't understand one another. I managed to save Yuri. I don't know why she went missing though. When I touch her, I see nothing. Maybe there was no reason, and that worries me. Like peering through darkness. Yuri will leave someday. It's okay if I don't know why. It's okay if we don't really understand each other. As long as she is in my arms, Yuri will be here with me. Aw, that's sweet. But how sad it is that it's the opposite that actually happened, right? Where Hisoka is the one who left us, either intentionally or not. And now Yuri is responsible for saving her. Ooh, I hear the rain in the background. It's actually, the forecast said it's probably going to rain today, IRL. Which is nice. Helps me go to sleep, at least. I'm luckily not somebody who's afraid of storms. I find the, the ambient rain in the background and the occasional thunder to be actually somewhat relaxing. Yuri, <laughs> sleeping. Don't mind me. An antique lamp has been placed on a plain writing desk. Oh. <laughs> Failed to note the, uh, the camera obscura. With the camera obscura at my disposal, I'll find Mother for sure. You can now use the camera obscura. There were some notes and photographs under the camera. Miku Hinasaki. Is this from when my mother went missing? Why would Yuri have this? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering too. Subject Miku Hinasaki. Client Sachi Iyama. Token personal photo. Details disappeared searching for her missing brother, but was found. Mother of one, father unknown. Disappeared again three years later. Note, photographer, client is her daughter's guardian. 
Result, search abandoned. Attempted shadow reading several times, but traces were too weak to follow. Suspect subject is alive, but a newer or stronger token is required. It may be that the subject does not want to be found. Interesting. I can almost see that playing out in a sort of maternal instinct sort of way, where Miku, Miu's mother, knows that she's in a dangerous place, and that in order to find her, Miu would have to put herself in danger. And knowing that, Miku's making it difficult for Miu to find her. Anyway, just speculation. It's her photo. If I use the camera to follow her trace, I can do it. I can find her. She also looks so young. I mean, yeah, that's kind of the point, right? Oh, her family had a camera obscure as well. Every time Miu speaks, she sounds so dead inside. It's so sad. Anyway, here's Yuri's notebook, too. When did I realize I could see things that others could not? When did I realize I could hear the voices of dead people? They tell me things. They whisper to me. The same things over and over. I have to cover my ears so that I don't accidentally listen. If I listen to them, I'll know. And if I know, I'll accept it. Many, many, many voices all talking to me. It doesn't make any sense. If only I could stop them from whispering to me. Can you imagine Miu just like in the middle of the night? Yuri wakes up and boom, there's a, a portrait of. <laughs> or rather, we're gonna like sneakily return the camera obscura and Yuri's gonna wake up and see a photo of her sleeping. There's some baskets and file cases on top of the drawer. Alright, doesn't seem like there's anything else we can really take. Anything up here? No. All right, we can go downstairs over here. Anything over this way? Nope. That's the back exit. Huh? Oh! Did we get it? We did! Shrine made it in shadow. It, they use that model for an enemy quite frequently, so... I thought we were about to get into a battle, and I was actually hesitant to take a photo from that far away. It was only because I noticed the circle. Oh, this is our room that we woke up in? No. I don't think so, at least. This is... Oh, this was Haruka's room, wasn't it? Okay. Doesn't look like we can really do much in here. Anything in the surveillance room over here? Where's... Where are Ren and Rui at this time, if they're not here? Maybe this takes place while Ren is out looking for her. Hmm. That's kind of odd. into the darkness amidst the rain we go now I have the camera obscura and the photograph of my mother I'll be able to follow her trace this time I'll find her such determination cue undertale music <laughs> every time I hear determination that's what I think of oh so we're at the ephemeral station follow Miku's trace Okay. Oh, is that a ghost there? I was trying to follow the icon on screen. <laughs> of course, we already missed one of the ghosts right off the bat. Love it, love it, love it! Ah. <laughs> um, I was like, is there an item around me? Just like turning around, turning around, and then... There's the ghosty ghost. Alright, for what it's worth, we've missed a handful of ghosts and still managed to get 
high ranks. It's just the collector in me. There's something of interest over there, but... Oh, a couple things of interest over there. But like usual, we're going to check this room because I'm sure it's going to be stockpiled with some useful items. What's nice is that we'll have the, um, the same camera as Yudi, so we'll have access to our lens. Oh, and before I forget, we're going to switch <laughs> to the Type 7 film. Because that's a recurring theme. Successful dodge. Nice. I should check to see how many points I got from that last... Um, from that last chapter and see if I can really do much with them. I've got 166,000 points. I think it's time we upgrade the output. Max that out. So we're at our maximum damage, which is nice. I'm... I think... What would we do next? Absorption? Mm, that is helpful. But... Sensor might actually make sense fairly soon because there have been times where I'm trying to target enemies and they're just a little bit too far. Um, and I'd like to get that shutter chance, right? Let's see, lenses. I don't, I don't really use anything other than the uh, the restore lens, honestly. So it might be useful to upgrade this all the way as well. I don't really use crush much. The blow lens. I don't remember what that one does. Um, stun lens, I recall that one. Upgrades the reward lens, increasing the effect's duration. Oh, I didn't even realize it was a duration. I thought it was just a single time, like, multiplier on whatever damage you get. The slow lens might be helpful. There's probably some missed potential there, honestly. I haven't been utilizing all of these lenses as much as I should be. Because, I mean, we have three of them that we can equip at any given time, right? It'll probably require a little bit more thought, right? Reflecting on which enemies would be most hindered by certain types of attacks. Um, for example, ones that have a really, I have a really difficult time keeping track of, and that are constantly running around me, um, I'm, you know, having a difficult time keeping up with. If I use the slow lens a bit more, that would be probably ideal. And if I didn't have to rely on the recovery lens in order to actually heal, that would free up my ability in combat in order to, to utilize more aggressive, more offensive attacks. Was that Type 14 film? How much was it? I think it was 24, right? So if that's the case, we need to take three pictures, I think, in order to hit the, the 75. So I guess we'll do that. Nothing exceptionally interesting to take a picture of, unfortunately. That's alright. Now let's pick these up. There we go. So we've maxed out that category. Switch back to Type 7 before I forget. And now we can progress. Where are you going? There you are. <laughs> Camera had a little bit of a hiccup there, but... Uh, out into the rain we go. No longer sheltered. Oh, hello there. You are an enemy ghost. So we'll build a little bit of distance here. Alright, doing, doing some damage. Not a ton, but some. Oops, back up, back up. You got a decent table frame in there. I gotta remember to use the slow. Oh, we're doing some big damage. That's a really long fatal frame. So much so that we actually, I think depleted his entire HP bar during that one fatal frame. I guess that's the power of having maximum load time and maximum output upgrades. Alright, off to the Shrine of the Ephemeral. I'm not exactly sure where we're going to be led to this time around. Are we actually going to go back into the Shrine of the Ephemeral? Or not? Let's see. Okay, they seem to be heading that way. Naturally, we're going to explore this little area over here again. Because that's where we found the Type Zero film before. So, there's at least a non-zero chance that there's another good item here. And it seems we may have found our Type Zero film.
There it is. So I wonder if the items are always placed in the same spot, even across different chapters, or playing as different characters, because that's what it seems like at the moment. And if that's the case, we won't find anything over this way. Of course, going to check just to be safe. But sure enough, here we are. And, uh, there's nothing to find. So we'll check one more time over this last path over on the right, and then we'll head back towards the Shrine of the Ephemeral. This is where there is that little cave, whatever, with the wind. And the game tries to tell me not to proceed, essentially. Oh, you know where we are trying to go? I bet it's that place with all the red spider lilies. Right? There's that one place we saw the, the contact tracing walk towards the... After the little, like, water graveyard area, that's totally where we're going. I know. Miku Hirasaki walking on a side road. I wonder if we're gonna run into our fiery friend over here again. I'll check up by the door just to be safe. Not that I anticipate actually being able to find anything up here or being able to go into the shrine. Can't imagine Mew ever wants to go in there again. <laughs> Although she also strikes me as the type of character that really, you know, at least has the outward expression of not having anything to lose, and thus not having any any fear. You know what I mean? Oh, looks like we got a couple friends here. our other friend. I was wondering where the second guy was and when he was finally going to show up. Oh! That was, uh... Not an attack I was used to. I don't remember these guys actually, like, that aggressively approaching me. It's kind of interesting. Alright, alright. Let's, um... Slow-mo. Nice. Big shutter chance there. Oh, what? You're behind me? What is going on? A little bit confused there. Um, I've lost a little bit of health. I should maybe try and recover a little bit. Uh, who do I want to attack? I can do that just to get rid of the torch as they place it. Aw, oh, man. Almost had them overlap there, which would have been really nice. We're gonna dodge, but I think we just dodged right into the other one. Yeah. I'll go for a little bit of a healing shot there. That's fine by me. Need a nice slow mo going now, too. Are you dead? I don't think so. Right? Yeah. No, they're not. Right? I don't know. I'm kind of confused. You seem dead. You've you've gotten all faded. But you're not doing the the fade animation. It's kind of odd. Certainly has me a little bit confused. I guess I can slow mo and get a strong shutter chance in here might be able to do enough damage. Yeah, because look, he's fallen again, but I'm not... What are they doing? Are they, like, supporting each other somehow? I don't know. It's very odd. Now it seems like they've finally died. Yes? How about that scream, though? Yeah, can somebody try and explain what was going on there? It almost seemed like they were attempting to revive each other. Also, if there was no way I missed out on a fatal glance there, I, w I had every opportunity there, so they must just not have a fatal glance opportunity for whatever reason. 
Okay, off to the Forbidden Valley. Already being greeted with an item. So this is where we need to go. Spider Lily Byway. Naturally, we'll explore all of these areas too. And almost certainly have some enemies to fight as well. But for the time being, we have some direction. Which is a little bit different from last, uh, last chapter where we just kind of serendipitously wandered into the right way to find the, the disappearing house. I don't recall an item being here last time. We take those, though. I'm also curious to see if the enemy placements in this game are 100% predisposed, or like predetermined, or if they are somewhat random as well. Is it something that is dependent on, you know, like how our wet meter is, right? Oh, there's Miku. Going off to the right here. So let's take a second and explore this area first. I'll go to the right for now. Might take a minute as we trudge through the water, which is not our most fast, or not our fastest means of traveling through the area, but hey. Gotta take what you get. What is that sound? What was that sound? We got a mirror stone, which is awesome. What am I dodging? Okay. Apparently that's what I'm dodging. That was unexpected. probably are. Oh, you're not. Interesting. Fatal frame? There we go. This will probably do the trick. Yeah. Now the question is, can we make it over in time for the fatal glance? And the answer is, yes. Alright, now that I've been turned around sufficiently. We were headed off this way. But yeah, what was that noise that was playing while we got the mirror stone? I know there have been a couple times where we picked up an item, and there was a, you know, a special ghost watching us or something like that. Another Type Zero film. I mean, alright, we take those. There's probably some more stuff hidden throughout here too. So let's go ahead and investigate. Not to mention, each little bit of extra investigation we do, each item we get, gets us more points that allow us to upgrade our, our camera, which will enable us to do better in battles going forward. And each extra battle we have as well is another opportunity to gain points. So, the game does a good job of rewarding exploration, which is nice. You know, this isn't a incredibly fast-paced game in general. It's one where you're supposed to take time, let the environment sort of seep in, and um, I guess, given how wet all the environments are, seep in is, is a pretty appropriate word, isn't it? <laughs> let the potentially really eerie music kind of get to you as you spend more and more time just kind of submerged in it. That one was intentional. Oops. Hello. Oh, it's the tall woman. Yeah, I remember you being kind of difficult to fight last time. Alright, we got Fatal Frame, which is nice. And got about halfway through. Damage wise, what's with all the static? It's 
pretty strong attack, but I was actually hoping we'd get a little bit more. It's so difficult to tell what's going on in my surroundings while all this is happening, just because of how tall she is and how far angled upward we have to be the whole time. Is she dead? Yes? No? Maybe? Fatal Glance, please? Hmm. I'm gonna take a guess and say that there isn't a Fatal Glance for this ghost. <laughs> or if there is, it's a unique one and we've already gotten it. It's kind of unfortunate. But yeah, that's another unique battle we would not have gotten had we gone straight to the, the Red Spider Lily area, right? Oh. Oh, is this one of the reliquary guys? It is. Where are you at, reliquary boy? Alright, we're gonna take advantage of having four of those items on screen. Do a nice shutter chance of them. Dude, we got a fatal frame. I was going for the shutter chance. We got a really strong Fatal Frame there. I think when you get a Fatal Frame and there's a lot more on screen, you're able to do more with it. I think we took him out, right? Yeah. Fatal Glance. Fatal Glance. I don't know what we're touching here, but we're getting it. <laughs> Did you guys see the re how uh, Mew's hand looked after it was underwater? Got all distorted and everything. What's on my left? Hmm? Is that something I can get through here? I thought I'd have to go all the way around to pick that up. Okay, I do. Games, just let me know. Oh, what am I getting attacked by? Oh, hello there. You are awfully close. From the depths. Jeez. Okay. So we can get a really strong attack in here. Holy cow! Do you see how much damage that did? And of course, we uh, got a whole bunch of spirit power back too. So we can similarly set up another triple. Yeah! Are you still alive after that? I don't think so. I was gonna say, that was a strong attack. Yeah, that was pretty cool. It's it's so neat how you can almost, like, have one really strong setup lead into another one. It's almost like there's a flow to the combat with Mew, arguably more so than the other characters. Just based on my experience thus far. It's always really neat to see, like, analyses of combat systems or cool combo videos of combat systems after you've done, after you've played through an entire game playing the combat in one particular manner. Just because... Did we already explore that little area? I don't think we did. Um, that was something I noticed recently with Nier Automata. I played that game actually quite a few months ago at this point, and I had an overall great experience. It was an exceptional game. Um, there was quite a bit of it that I didn't enjoy, but, but the vast majority I really liked after getting past the part I didn't like. And it's really one of the most unique gaming experiences I've had period, and I've had a lot of gaming experiences, um, and the combat was pretty cool, although at times it feels a little bit bland, but there are some really neat combo videos online that just get so creative with the different weapons the game offers, and really highlight the high ceiling of the combat in that game, that I never even got close to scratching. Okay, so now that we've done that, We've had a couple of really neat battles. We've picked up quite a few healing items. We've obtained quite a bit more film as well. I think it's time we finally head over towards the, the graveyard. Not the graveyard, we're in the graveyard. <laughs> finally head over towards the passage with the red spider lilies. Red spider lilies are just kind of like the the definitive aesthetic of that area. Oops, I did not go in the right direction. Because they look wonderful. 
and especially in this sort of like dark environment in the rain I imagine they would look wonderful I most associate them with anime I've seen namely Tokyo Ghoul and The Promised Neverland but seems they're a theme that's predated those by quite some time Miku Hinasaki before ghost marriage what? She participated in ghost marriage. What? This way it was blocked before. Mother must be... So now the question is, is she actually leading us here? Right? Two house of joining. So this must be where the ghost marriages occur. Ah, and the red spider lilies do continue. I love it. Normally I'd run in a place like this, but given we have a short path and such enjoyable scenery. It's nice to just walk through. Red spider lilies bloom at the edge of the path. They appear to have been carefully planted around the road in the house. Miku Hirasaki in the house of joining. Search for Miku. Will we find her? That's the question. I wonder how expansive this area is. This looks like a little small, almost like, hut. Note from Miku 2. There's a scrap of paper on the ground. Did my mother leave this? Almost certainly. I was abandoned. Four years ago, Miu came into my life. But now, I have to leave her. I don't have long left. I can feel that the end is close. Everyone dies alone, but I don't want to be alone. I have learned of a thing called ghost marriage. So Miku is arguably willingly entering into ghost marriage so that she doesn't die alone? Is she gonna try to become one of the pillars? I'd be surprised if the game allowed, <laughs> uh, or the you know sort of like ancient ritual allowed same-sex marriages, right? Because up until this point, we've seen that men have been attracted through the ghosts pictures or, you know, somehow seeing them and then leading themselves, essentially, to meet their own demise through the ghost marriage. This seems a little bit different, though. It almost sounds like she's trying to become one of the pillars, one of the brides, who would then wait for a man to arrive. It's a pair of urns of different sizes. They appear to have something in them. Wait, they appear to have something in them? Can we, can we take that something? I guess not. What's around on this side? Anything? Doesn't seem so. Alright. In we go. The fire in the paper lanterns gives off a warm light. Yes, it does. Lighting in this game is good. It took me a minute to get the balance down in the beginning because of, you know, how dark things were. And how, how unsure I was of, you know, what the intended level of darkness was. But, but now that I've got it down, I feel quite happy with it. Oh, this is what? Are you kidding me? This is the place that Ren was dreaming of. So this brings, this is, yeah, we've been here before. What? I'm, uh, huh. Oh, I, I was, t <laughs> that one was on me. I was like in awe and just kind of surprised, but here we are. Talismans hang from the walls and ceiling amidst the images of couples getting married. Red cloths are tied to a rope stretching across. Yeah, this is that building. It actually exists. It wasn't just some sort of fever dream Ren was having. You got the bind lens, a lens that freezes the photograph subject for a time. Taking another photo will undo it. That's interesting. The fact that you have to that it's undone by taking another photo means it's not one where you freeze the enemy and then assault them with a variety of, of photos to do damage. It's a lens where you freeze them to buy yourself time. Huh. I think that may be one that I actually go out of my way to equip and maybe try to use. Let's see here. So for different lenses, this is, oh, this is enhancements. Let's go to here. Which ones do we have? This is, Reward, this is stun, 
this is restore. Let's let's replace this one with the bind lens. <laughs> Not that I ever really use these. I'm pretty sure I, I cycle through them with the D pad. Oh, hello. That was that's actually hilarious. That was completely by chance. I have literally just pulled up the camera to see how I could use the um, the bind lens. But in the end, I uh, I happened to pull up the camera at just the right time to, to get that. So let's see. Here's the bind lens. Let's see how it goes. We still have a decent amount of damage left. So we did the bind lens. Huh. I didn't really notice much at the time. Oh, where are you at? Oh, darn it. I hit the wrong button. Or at the same time as, I guess, X. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, we didn't quite have enough for the double. Come on. Oh, we got the fatal frame going. I was aiming for the, uh, the shutter chance. I guess that works. She dead? Yep. So I didn't really have the time to notice just how long she was frozen. But that's something I do want to pay attention to. A votive picture or picture celebrating someone's marriage is on the wall. You're still doing your thing over here? All good? Alright. So now we're gonna search for Miku. It seems this door is locked. We'll confirm it just to be safe. Oh no! That status on the map, essentially, was just indicating that it hadn't been tested. You can hear the, uh, the sound effects for the sopping wetness of us. Oops, um, I thought I picked it up and was ready to let go, but alas, I was too early. You can hear the, the sopping wet sound effects. Oh, seriously, game! <laughs> just got bodied. But yeah, Miku's uh, footsteps sound effect is pretty funny. Not Miku, Miu. Alright. Do we want to keep going this way and go upstairs? And then maybe come around? Yeah, probably. Let's go ahead and investigate. This is where... This box. The box. Oh, this is Kazuya. Yeah, that makes sense. We've seen him here before. This is where Ren woke up, right? The door is locked. Yeah. And we turned to the right, and this door was locked as well when we played as Ren. But right now, it's open. And it just leads downstairs on the other side. Yes. restorative uh, lens here. Get a little bit of HP. Wait, what? I guess I was a little bit late. And again! Just disappeared in time. Got the fatal frame. I'm surprised that our fatal frame is like a longer though. Did a good amount of damage there. All right, so you're hidden behind there. I can wait a moment for you to approach. Didn't really heal a lot with that. Kind of disappointing. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, we actually got the fatal frame. Nice. She's so close to dead. It's like one attack away. <laughs> it looks like we just like touched the lantern. <laughs> it's kind of funny. All 
Okay, there's a lot going on in this room, isn't there? A lot to explore, a lot to pick up. A battle as well. Oh, we actually found something in here. Oh, man, the fact that the camera just kind of like panned immediately to that uh, doll. <laughs> it was like, wait, are we about to fight that doll now? Oops. I feel like now the, the hands are in my head. More Type-0 film. We just got a third set of Type-0 film. Dang. The game is setting us up for something. There's not a boss battle in here. Or in this chapter, this drop. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. More film. Type-61 film. Where's this last item? Was that it? It was just being kind of indicated to us through the, the dresser there. Okay, so we're in this hallway. Oops. Camera, come on. Ugh, don't turn the other way. What the heck? Where... Hmm. Alright, well. I think we... I'm pretty sure we missed out on Ghost. I tried to turn to the left and pull up the camera, but when I pulled up the camera, I wasn't actually turning to the left, so it's, uh... obviously didn't work out very well. Oh, are we gonna look behind this and finally see something? I bet. Yeah, I'm a little bit concerned by how much herbal medicine and sacred water and a mirror stone and type zero film they're giving us. What's the deal with that? Nothing seems out of ordinary here. Yeah, for now. There's totally going to be a huge battle. Maybe we're going to finally run into Miku and she's going to be the boss. That would be pretty interesting. Okay. Seems like all that's left is to go into this room here on our left. Wouldn't be surprised if there was another big battle in here. You know what would be kind of nice in this game? Is if while in the camera mode, there was like a quick 90 degree turn or 180 degree turn option. I think it's particularly 90 degree would be nice. It won't open. It's being held shut by a powerful force. The camera is reacting to something. All right. Time for a psychic photograph. We go on a little scavenger hunt. Let's see. Oh, we know exactly where that is, guys, right? <laughs> We've looked there a couple times too many, potentially. Without finding anything originally, of course. But now, it finally has a purpose. I'm shocked we haven't dried up at all. Our wet meter is still, like, 100%. Here we go. There's Miku. Or no, Mafuyu. The room with a mirror just like in the photo. The shadow disappeared from the picture. Was that... Oh, I'm trying to remember... No, that totally wasn't the girl from the very beginning of the game who's friends with Haruka. Mafuyu. Is that... That's not... Hmm. Who is that? Do we know who that is? That looked kind of like Miku, but... The door is just opening. The door is just opening. Oh boy. We're being led somewhere else. So maybe now that we've seen that, the powerful force shutting the door has dispersed. Ghost marriages eventually came to an end. Did they now? of a fatal frame and a shutter chance there, basically. Wow, we really did a number on her there. Get up nice and close for a healing shot. 
can honestly get a couple in. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, seriously? I wonder? Nah, I should just I should just use it. I thought I could get the fatal frame and that would be enough for it to, to finish up. I shouldn't I should have just dodged. I should have just dodged. I wonder what like the natural course of that curse is. You know? Is it dead? I don't think so. Oh, no it is. I was like I couldn't see it and my controller was still rumbling. Are you like a special shrine maiden of some sort? That you get this cutscene? Huh, apparently. But yeah, I wonder what the natural course of that curse is, right? It seems OP, because like the only thing we can do to get rid of it is the purifying embers, right? If there's some other way of handling it, please let me know. Otherwise, it just wreaks havoc on my HP. If there was a nice way to get rid of it, or even if it just like only does a third of your HP or something like that, that would be good to know. Because right now, it's... It's a very potentially lethal attack. Seriously? That didn't count? I wasn't fast enough? This is some really nice scenery. I think this is the room where we chose our bride as Ren, I think. Right? Can I pick this up, please? I'm right in front of it. If so, we might be greeted with Miku dressed as a as a bride after coming here for ghost marriage. Hmm, last time we saw the bride on the red cushion there. Oh no, the reliquary. Oh no. Miu's all too familiar with these reliquaries. There's that term Shadowborn. It must be one of the people who can do shadow readings, right? Camera obscura! Camera obscura! What? I still got attacked. Man. The timing for that is really tough. That was like really quick. Alright. At the very least, we have a fairly open area, which is nice. Oh, I see that curse mark. We're gonna get rid of that while we can. Those are some sort of homing attack. She's probably gonna attack soon. Yeah? Or not. Sorry, right. I'll do a little bit of damage in the meantime then. Oh, there's the curse mark. Wanna nip that one in the butt. Come on, come on, come on. We got the shutter chance. That works. What's up with the mirror? Oh, it's this. She's gonna run across now. We got the fatal frame, which is nice. That's so interesting. So it seems like we can actually just straight up interrupt that attack. Oh, I missed my chance. I wanted to get the healing shot with the, uh, the shutter chance there. 
moves awfully fast for an old lady. Oh, hello there. Oh, I wasn't. Come on, come on, come on. Shutter chance and with the healing lens. Nice. Oh. <laughs> How'd that manage to escape my vision? Ah, oh, darn it. Nice. Solid fatal frame there. This will get us a bunch of spirit power. And it makes me so confident we can use that slow level and get a really big hit in soon. She's also kind of low on HP, isn't she? The next one can, the next attack can totally be our last. Oh, really? Actually, this is perfect. This is perfect. Big damage, big damage, big damage. Well, that wasn't as clean as I expected, but yeah, it's still a good final blow. Well, I guess we took her out. <laughs> a book with a white cover. Did that old woman write this? The White Diary. The ghost marriage allows pillars to persist longer. Maidens who become pillars must be bound to someone. Sad though it may be, no maiden can endure the pain they suffer within the reliquary on her own. We brought many men to wed Ose, but they all had a change of heart. The joinings failed. I feel she might be waiting for Master Aso to come back to her. Who are Ose and Aso? But even if he does come, there is no guarantee that she will be the, only, she will be the one he chooses. They may have made a promise, but we know that outsiders have fickle hearts. Oh, so this Master Aso is an outsider of the village. Hmm. Can we open the reliquary now? Do we want to do that? Oh, it seems like that's all there is to do. Let's give it a go. Is that... Haruka? Or is it the same Mafuyu? No, it's Miku! Wow. So, so we've saved Miku. Wow. I didn't think she'd be alive. I really didn't. And then there's also the mystery of what was she talking about? She wants to go back to that time? What does that mean, right? But... Either way, we, we have her now. I guess we're going to try to take her off of Mount Hikami. Also, that visual, when we do the shadow readings, those are some of my favorite parts in the game. Just the, the visual aesthetic during them. All of that is so beautiful. Those, like, little videos that are heavily bathed in the dark sunset. It's just incredible. Okay. So we've got a couple of these maidens here. That's no problem for us, though, right? 
Did we get the fatal frame? We did not. We, uh, I'm tempted to do some, you know, sweet, sweet Miku strats here. If I could see the other maiden. There she is. Did we get the fatal frame? Nope. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. Shout out to Miku, the real MVP here. Oh, they're, they're attacking Miku. I was like, wait a minute, I didn't see them. I thought they were going to attack me and there was going to be a dodge button. But alas, there was not. Oh, darn it. That was not a useful photo. There we go, though. Are they dead? I can't see them. Oh, I can see them now. This will probably be true. Can it really not? Oh, but it's really close. Come on, give me the fatal glance on the far one. You can still get both of them, I swear. Ugh. I was like a split second too late on the second one. Darn. But anyways, thanks Miku. You were the, the real MVP there. Can we go through here? Yes, we can. It's always interesting that these drops have the sort of escape component as well, right? It's not just rescue and then, you know, the chapter ends. A lot of times it's also like find this person and then manage to make it off the mountain with them. I will say it's nice that many times these people don't just present an extra risk, right? It would be awfully frustrating if it was so easy for each of them to be attacked or killed. Oh, wait, there's somebody behind me too? Oh, they're attacking, uh... You guys, I am, here I am talking about how they're not a huge risk. Sorry about that. You doing okay? Can I pick you up or something? Please? Ah, oh, shoot. He's totally about to attack, uh... Oh, I thought he was gonna attack Miku again. Miku again. Oh, there's that curse thing that I don't like. Alright, sorry Miku, I'm gonna run over this way for the moment. Just because, uh, there's a lot going on on screen. So we're fighting a Kazuya, I think, and one of those guys? That's pretty intense. And he's got one of those curse things that I definitely want to dispel from the time being. What's kind of interesting is it seems like they can get caught behind the, uh, the pieces of furniture and set pieces on the side, too. It's actually working out to our advantage right now. Let's see if I can get rid of that curse. Ah, uh, what? Alright, we're just gonna run this way for the moment. Miku, doing great, hiding in the corner over there. Just don't be a liability, please. Oh, you're hanging out over there now. Teleporting all over the place. Are you dead? I feel like you are. I guess not. Ah, uh, darn it, I was too early. I got the dodge in, though. Ooh, Miku Strat's coming in. Oh, shoot, you're attacking me. I was like, what's going on? I'm not getting attacked. What? Oh, darn it. I thought I'd, uh, have reloaded by then, but I guess not. Dang, this is an awfully aggressive battle here. Alright. There's a lot going on on this There's the Reliquary. There's Miku. Let's see if we can get this Fatal Glance. No, oh, I missed it by like a split second. Some of them, it's like, what is going on? You gotta be like frame perfect to get these Fatal Glances, genius. Okay. Let's get rid of that curse if we can. Miku coming in clutch. 
And you're dead? Okay, come on, come on. Please let me get this fatal glance. Please, 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 please. Oh. You're still moaning and screaming and stuff. I feel like that might have been one of the actual unique fatal glances. Ah, oh, game. If these, if those are like so cool, you know why, why make them so finicky sometimes to get? You know this isn't a this isn't a game that people you know play like Super Meat Boy that requires super tight movement and platforming and all that stuff and timing. It shouldn't. If, if it's something is so essential to understanding the story and and it's so enjoyable for players that like the story, the characters, the horror, please don't bar it like that. It's just frustrating. But anyways, I won't speak just yet. But now I'll say we've escaped. The shrine, that is. Or how far down they want us to go. Or are we just gonna exit out this area? She's coming, right? Miku? <laughs> okay. I was like, <laughs> I swear Miku got trapped in there and we try to leave and it's like, you need to leave with Miku. To Kurosawa's antiques. Okay, nice. So that's gonna be the end of the chapter, I'm sure. It's kind of sweet, mother and daughter. Finally reunited. See, it's been years, right? Miu finally found Miku on Mount Hikami, where she had entered into a ghost marriage at the House of Joining. I'm surprised she was still alive inside the box, inside the reliquary. Maybe that does lend some credence to the fact that the women, the pillars, do actually live forever in the black water. Right? Because it's not like it was yesterday that, or even just like, you know, 20 minutes before getting there that she was in that water. I wonder how full the water is in there. It must be full enough, right, that she's not able to breathe. Interesting. Miku explained her desperate wish to be reunited with her beloved, pleading for Miu's forgiveness. Miu led her mother away from the mountain and back to the antique shop. Miu and Miku lay side by side and quickly fell into a deep sleep. Hmm, Miku explained her desperate wish to be reunited with her beloved, pleading for Miu's forgiveness. Huh. So that's what drove her into the ghost marriage. That if she were to, I guess, like, give up what remained of her life to become a pillar, she may be able to be reunited with with the one she loves. That's interesting, though, because I, I didn't think that was a very a component of the ghost marriage from what we've learned up until this point. I'm not sure what about the ghost marriage would enable her to be reunited with her loved one. Maybe somebody else could potentially explain that, unless it's like spoilers for a previous Fatal Frame, but that was a nice fairly concise chapter with some overall good battles that I actually like that one quite a bit. Oh, oh my goodness, we're finally going to be, be looking for Hisoka. I will say though, the last time we looked for Hisoka Kurosawa, I was like, oh, we're finally going to get Hisoka back. That's going to be exciting. But uh, we didn't actually do that. So who knows if we'll actually find Hisoka in the next drop, but I'm definitely looking forward to it and playing as Yuri again, who's going to be no doubt upset that Mew took her camera obscura. But Hope you guys enjoyed this one. This was one of my favorite drops, actually, in, in quite some time. So I, I enjoyed it a lot, and I'm definitely looking forward to the next one. But until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete. <laughs>